Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Aging Backwards episode seven. I am so excited about this one. My name's Teresa, and I'm here with my co-host, Leslie. How are you, Leslie? I am doing great. Excited you to are looking you. beautiful in that color today, which okay. is perfect for this episode. We are doing episode seven. This is a big one. This is a hot one out in the, it's a big fad going on right now, and it's makeup for the seasons really color analysts and how much it plays into our makeup, our clothes, all of it. Yeah, but it's not, when you say makeup for the season, it's not like you should wear something different in summer, winter, spring. It's no. like, what season are you? Which is funny. Years ago, there was this company that is still around and keeps popping back called Color Me Beautiful. Yes. And yes. Every, people, and I actually met with a client the other day and she paid $275 for somebody to figure out a color. And then another 200 and some dollars to have the person tell her what makeup to wear. And it's funny. It clearly right. doesn't know you do that for free. I know. And it, but it does make a difference. It does and make a total difference. So whether you're a spring, a summer, winter, or the, or autumn or fall, and what colors you wear. Like what I am wearing today is for my season. It's the in alignment with your season, yes. right? The woman I met with that day that had hers done, she's in autumn, and she had tans, browns, mute colors, gold jewelry. I would look awful in that, and she would look awful in what I have on. Like, right. So knowing what's right. So, so let's a, start them off. So thing. this is, yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is just a quick intro today on episode yeah. seven, okay? We want you to leave this episode knowing how to figure out what season you are, and then how that translates into your makeup, what you wear for clothing. And Leslie has some great examples of how you know when you're not in alignment with your, with your season. So there's four seasons, right? There is summer, spring, autumn, and winter. Correct. Okay. And so again, what do you use, Teresa? It has nothing to do with what season you have. So I am and actually, not what season you were born. And not what season you were born. I'm actually a summer, which for me is interesting. I love, Leslie, you know this about me. I love color. I love color. And more importantly, I love sparkle. If there was a sparkle season, I would have that season. But um, these are the colors. And you've said this, that I, when I tend to wear them, it doesn't matter what it is you'll get a compliment when you are wearing the color that's in your season. It's just true. Right. What are you? So there is also, there's season, and we're going to talk about this in September, more style. So what kind of style? Are you the conservative, um, Ann Taylor, um, Talbot kind of girl, or like Teresa, she likes sparkles and texture and all the fun stuff. And, you know, if you look at my closet, it is all bright colors. There, and my sister's closet is all black and white. And so, you know, it's, and I, when I, I did have somebody help me figure out my colors and I was kind of worried that, okay, hopefully I'm right. And I was, and right. my colors are right. There was a couple things in my closet. We're going to talk about this too today is she's like, let somebody else with that. And I never yeah. felt good in it, but you're like, I spent money or I kind of like it or somebody right. told me I look good on it right. one day. And maybe I probably didn't. And this is really going to help the, the person out there who's always like, I want to wear makeup, but I never know what colors to wear. How often do we hear that from our clients, Leslie? Like, I just don't know what colors to wear. This is going to help you because once you know your season, you will know your palette and we're going to be able to help you with that. So let's start with how do they figure out their season? Because this is, this is fun. Takes a little bit of science, right? A little bit of questions for them. Yes, so let me pull this up. And so this is just kind of a quick and easy way to tell. Um, so let me share my screen. All right. And obviously, when you work with your Mary Kay consultant, we're going to help you figure out what foundation you shade you wear, which makes a big play into it, too, and be able to figure out your undertone, which helps. Um, yes. And so we can help you with that and figure out right undertones. And like our foundation is not just one color fit all. We base it on your undertone. All right. So can we see this? Yes. So we've got to help them figure out their undertone. Correct. 
which is going to be cool, warm. Some people lie in neutral, but this this is how we're going to start. So, and cool and warm is different than like the undertones of our foundation, cool, neutral, and warm. So cool, the quickest, easiest is jewelry. So um, like the silver jewelry complement you best or gold. So I don't know if you can see, I've got a silver necklace. If I put gold up on me, I mean, and I mix and match sometimes. Maybe this stop the screen share for a sec so you can see it a little better. All right, so I have a silver necklace on, silver earring. Here's gold on me. So yeah. although it doesn't look, it just doesn't, it makes me look not so bright. You yeah, it just has different. It just is yeah. different. So the jewelry test is definitely one really good way to know. But a like, lot of people do wear, if I've mentioned it to people, they're like, well, I wear both. Right. So, um, so you had another test to use, Teresa. What was that? Yes. So another test is, do you wear more white or cream? And when you wear white, does your skin tend to turn rosy? Does it have a rosy tint? Like I'm wearing white today so that you could see. Or does it tend to turn yellow? So if it turns more yellow, you are warm. If it turns more rosy, you're going to be a cool undertone. So that's another way. Yeah, and definitely whites look good on me and cream don't look very good on me. Right, right. So, so there's there's other ways too. Like if you um, can look at your natural hair color, that's, that's another way to look. If you're a redhead or have warm undertones in your skin, then you might be a spring or autumn. Um, but this color wheel really helps. So once you know if you're cool or warm, then you just follow kind of, I don't know if you can make that bigger, Leslie, if you can make um, it. Um, can you mention the vein thing too, to help cool or warm? Yes. So if your veins are green, you're, you're most likely warm. And if they're more bluish purple, you are cool. Okay. And I never, mine are bluish. I've never oh, had green veins. Yeah, I've never knew you could have green veins. So, okay, so we're definitely in the cool family. All right, and then you look. So once you determine warm or cool, then can you, you make it bigger, Leslie? Like, can you click the box up top to expand? No, your whole screen. Do you know what I mean? Up that box up there. Okay, perfect. Is that better? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna scroll down. All right, then we're gonna look at your hair color. Your natural hair color. Um, so, it's funny, as a child, I was more blonde. And now I've got more brunette, but when I'm in the sun, it's more um, blonde. So what are you, what is your natural color, Teresa? It's like a whitish brown. Okay. It definitely has no red in it. It definitely, it, it's interesting. Ella, my Ella, you know, has these red undertones in it. And she right. always looks so good in those autumn colors. Yeah. And um, even because she's got freckles and things too. But yeah, so I'm blonde, brown, but I have light eyes, blue eyes. Okay. And it's interesting with me, I have brown eyes, which, I mean, that's what they're classified as. But they are almost transparent and based on what I'm wearing. They almost look, they definitely look lighter. You can't tell from here, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But like almost tigery eyes. So mine definitely lean towards, although they're brown, they're more of a lighter color brown. Yeah. So, so, so that throws both of us in summer. Yeah. We're just summer girls. Yeah. Um, but hopefully if you're watching this, okay, let's zoom it out. I mean, get all smaller again, Leslie, okay. so that, nope. Yep, the other way. So that they can kind of see their color tone. Again, if you do not know, this is part of the beauty of having your Mary Kay consultant is we can really get we get together with you and just see your skin and ask you a few questions and you will know your undertone and we can confirm it with matching your foundation. Um, and then once you know your colors, Leslie, you know your summer, winter, spring or autumn, let's pull up that big color wheel because that is super fun. And just to mention, too, the color. So summer are bright colors, as we saw. That's the example. And so another test I brought is this is more of an autumn color. So this is me in pink, and this is me in autumn. 
Yeah. Like it's going to Goodwill today. Um, I have a really bright pink lipstick, which a lot of people can't wear. Here's more of a brown. It looks terrible on me. I always try so often those neutral browns are in are like oh, in trend. They're in trend. I put them on and I feel like I look like totally nothing. Like it's just does not work on my skin. All right, so let me pull up the color wheel. Colors. And Iggy wants to play with us. Iggy stop. I love this example. So just looking at the color wheels, right? You can see the winter, the autumn, the spring, the summer. Very cool. Yeah. And this is something good to print out. And mm -hmm. when you go in shopping for clothes, they recommend taking this with you. And when you're looking at clothes and things, what colors are the ones that you're going to gravitate? So I can do although it's not in my summer palette, I can do coral really well, but I can't do orange. The orange, orange, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then do we want to show the other makeup color? Sure. Okay. So this is how it translates. So once we really know your undertone, then that is how you can really find the colors that in your makeup are going to pull out the, or the you're just going to feel uh, like they're pulling out your coloring more. They're going to feel brighter. It's just going to feel like it goes. And, you know, we'll have to, when we share the video, Leslie, also share some great before and afters because it yeah. literally ages you. And this is why this ties into our aging backwards episode, because when you are wearing the wrong season and some people will even color their hair and it's, the wrong season, right? When you are in your right season, you look younger. Yes. Okay. So we're going to pull this up. Share my screen. All right. Somebody wants to go out. <laughs> Can you hear her barking? It doesn't really sound like a dog bark. It sounds a little bit like a different okay. kind of noise. Right. We'll let the dog bark for a moment. All right, are these the ones you want me to show? Yes. So okay. this this would be a sample of a brown eyed palette. So um for for spring, okay. So if you're brown eyed in your spring, that's a perfect example for you. So um, somebody that's watching this, the brown eyed spring, they can literally we can tell them this is what you need, and we can fill a palette in all these colors and give it all it's done. It's yeah. done. You don't even have to think about it. And then we can teach you, of course, how to apply. But it's interesting. When you're using the right colors, application becomes a lot easier, too. Yes, absolutely. So that's a brown eyed spring. We have a blue eyed summer. So this would be a Teresa palette. I love all these colors. They're what I wear on the daily. I have on Blossom and Hazelnut and Dusty Rose right now. Um, Yep, love these colors. Yeah, and it's interesting. After getting these sheets, I went through my makeup palette and those are, I have the right colors. So this is a green-eyed hazel, and I'm kind of my brown versus a hazel color. So these are definitely colors I wear all the time. Probably have I have Merlot, Sweet Plum, Blossom, Candlelight. All of those are in my palette. The crushed berry lipstick. Um, I have a little bit brighter on today. We have a brown-eyed summer. Yep, so pretty. So I need to try the moss and the emerald sometime, but I don't know if that'll look at it. Here's your blue-eyed autumn. So we have all these for you. And the dog is working. All He's right. not really interested in the seasons. He is not. She. All right. She. So we have one for every eye color every season. So we can share these with you and you can get together. Yeah. We're going to share these with the consultants and then they can share them with you. Absolutely. So yeah. to re kind of recap, okay, you want to know what season you are because it's going to make a difference in, again, you, how old you look or how young you look, right? But it's- And how, how you feel. Like, how, you, yeah. how do you feel? Like I feel happy and bright in this. I feel like, yeah. 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 And it's not that you got to go get rid of everything. Like if there's a shirt you really love, no one's going to say, don't wear that. It's not in your season. 
you will just know the ones that, you know, really bring out your features. You get compliments on them. Um, and again, when you're not aligned in those seasons, like say you're wearing one season makeup, one season clothes, you're going to look older. No one wants to look older. Yeah. So we got to figure out your undertone. We gave you some tips today. Um, I, you know, Leslie, I'm going to just say it, but Google is always a great resource if you are unsure, but your consultant is the even better predictable resource for you. And there's lots of companies doing this. I know somebody that went out of town for a weekend to figure this out. Now, you don't need to do all those things. Before. No. Like we can help you. Let us help you. And if you want to learn further and explore it and like the color me beautiful, once you get your palette, you can actually get like a paint tool swap thing on a keychain that's got all the colors that you can take shopping with you of all your colors. Um, I when I did it, I kind of knew my colors, so I'm like, I don't need to have that because I know right. Because once you know them, you know them, and you gravitate towards them. So yeah. Well, all I right. Should we tell them about September? Episode eight. We can tell them about. We no, it's nine. Them. Are we? Gonna oh, you're right. It is nine. This is episode seven, episode nine, coming soon. You're right. It is episode nine. Yeah. You tell them, Leslie, because right, so, really, we're going to have a guest. I'm so excited. Yeah, so we're kind of letting you know ahead of time. So episode eight is going to be something really fun for you, Cameron. Episode nine, we have a guest speaker, um, somebody we know that does the whole color analysis. That's who did mine. And also she does styling. So she, her, she talks about, you know, this area, our clavicle, is one of the most attractive places you should be wearing jewelry and how many accessories you should wear. Um, she talks about your style. Are you classic? Are you boho? Are you trendy? And so she's going to give us some tips and ideas. Um, I have actually worked with her and done events, a group event like we're going to do. I've worked with her individually to come out with my colors. And by the way, her price compared to the ones I was telling you are so different. And then I am, I've actually signed up crazy to have her um, do a virtual call with me to um, figure out the clothes in my closet, what looks best for my body type. Oh, that is so fun. Yeah. So lots of fun things coming soon. So um, August, like we said, that'll be episode seven. We got treats coming out for you. And then our special guest will be with us for episode nine in September. So keep yeah, aging so backwards with us. Yes, and I recommend watching this and watching it again. It is recorded, and then you can, you know, maybe get together with some family, some girlfriends, your sister, your best friend, and help each other. And reach out to your consultant. They are happy to help you. Yes. And uh, Leslie, is there a special code for them oh, when they listen today? You know what? We didn't think about that. <laughs> and do we have a special deal? We're going to have a special deal we'll share. So, yes. and your word is going to be season. So when you share the word season with your season. consultant, we will, she will share with you the special deal of this video. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, another eight backwards, seven. We're good. I love it. Aging eight backwards, back. seven. I'm feeling eight. great. I know you're feeling great, Leslie. Hopefully, hopefully all of our listeners and friends are feeling great. So. All right. Bye, Bye everyone. Everybody. Thanks.